Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of College and Career Pathways, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we provide you with information on various colleges and universities, financial aid resources, uh, training programs, technical schools, skilled trade professions, and career readiness skills, all designed to help you make the best career decisions possible. I'm Tony Curitan, your host, and today we are with uh, Focus Hope, and they are going to talk about the various uh, training opportunities that they have. Thank you so much, Lynn, for joining us. We're so glad to have you. Thank you for having me. Yep, I'm very excited to share with everybody our training opportunities that are coming up for the new year. Uh, I'm going to give you kind of a high level overview of what we offer, as well as some of the additional supportive services that we provide for our students. And so right now, these are the programs that we have on our schedule. Uh, there could be additional classes that we add at the new year as well, um, but these are kind of our staple programs. Uh, we have an industrial manufacturing program, we have information technology, we have CDL work readiness, construction, a tree trimming program with DTE. And, you know, one thing that we really want to emphasize is, you know, these classes, they are offered online and sometimes when needed, they will be a hybrid class, but there's no cost to students. So there's no need for our students to take out a loan or apply for grants. Um, as long as they meet our admissions requirement, which I will share towards the end, um, there's no cost to the learner. It's really just a commitment of your time um, to go through these classes. Um, they are primarily full time morning classes. And as always, we encourage everybody when you get this information, share it with your family and friends because you never know who's looking to either transition to a new career or maybe in a situation where they just need to upgrade their skills and get some credentials. And that's what we're all about. And next slide. So the first program that I wanted to talk about is like our staple program, the program that we've been doing the longest um, with many different iterations, which is our manufacturing program. Uh, right now it is the industrial manufacturing training pathways. Um, so we call it pathways because there's multiple pathways that you could go career wise, but also we break it down into modules where you're, you're learning something different. So in the first portion of the program, we're gonna focus heavily on safety. Um, we're gonna uh, focus on getting your forklift certified. Um, as well as get some computer enrichment in there because uh, the way we see it is there is a, uh, a technical element to everything that you do and so being able to have the computer basics is fundamental in any type of training and any type of career that you'll do um, as well as, as our bread and butter which is our work readiness which is getting people ready for the workforce um, making sure that everyone is, is aware that when you, you're either transitioning to a different career or upgrading you know there could be some different work, workplace culture things to be aware of and so you will be getting your OSHA 10 uh, safety certification and that is through Michigan OSHA. Uh, once you transition from those first two weeks, you're going to go into our CNC, which is our computer numeric control manufacturing uh, course. So you're going to be focusing things on like things uh, such as blueprint reading. You're going to keep building your computer enrichment. We have a financial literacy course that is built into the program, which is, is you know, you're thinking about making much more money in your career. Or, you know, if you're somebody who's just starting out, this is your first job. You want to know how to boost your credit score, how to uh, build your wealth, how to, to uh, build savings, you know, planning for big purchases, as well as, you know, how, how can you read your paycheck? So those kind of things are fundamental, uh, you know, in any career and at any level that you're at. Um, but the, the big focus for this portion of the course is going to be your CNC, which is computer numeric control machining, your lathes and your mills. Uh, you get industry recognized credential through National Institute of Metalworking Skills. Um, and then you get those three certifications. So the first one is in material measurement safety. You get your lathes and mill certifications, which makes you very attractive to employers who are looking to hire manufacturing professionals. And then in your final phase of your automation and design course, you're getting an introduction to robotics, welding, 3D printing, um, which is that computer aided design software. Um, this is uh, this is probably the most fun part of the course because uh, there is the in-person component where you will actually be working with the machines. Um, you'll actually be able to see the robotic machines and the 3D printing machines. And uh, as part of your class, you, you will even have uh, an assignment where you're actually creating something with the 3D printer. Um, so that is something that uh, I think, you know, you, you're kind of getting let, at the entry level types of positions um, 
but if you have a background as well, you know, that's something that would, you know, definitely help boost up your salary potential um, as far as uh, the automation and design piece. But you'll take this program as a whole so that you'll be a well-rounded manufacturing professional who can, you know, uh, go into the workforce and, you know, be ready to meet the employers that we work with and be very qualified for their positions. Um, some of the job opportunities that are associated with this position are like a CNC programming, a robotic technician, manufacturing technician, quality control, CNC operator, I mean, maybe a forklift operator, uh, general laborer. It kind of depends on what you're interested in. You know, all of these uh, these jobs that you're looking at are going to start off making eighteen, twenty dollars an hour and up. Um, and previous experience certainly helps you. So, if manufacturing is something that you're looking to break into or upgrade your skills, this program is fifteen weeks long. It is hybrid, online in person, so it runs for fifteen weeks from nine to three, Monday through Friday. Um, we loan out to you the laptops that are needed uh, for the uh, the technical components where you'll be doing simulations online while you're doing your um, at home training uh, so that you can feel confident when you come in and you actually have to work hands on with the machines. And then uh, another program that we've been offering since the 90s is our information technology. So this is something that obviously um, is very, very relevant. It's something that we're continually updating. And so right now, the IT pathways is also broken down into three cores. So the first core is heavily focused on uh, customer service because you will be getting a nationally uh, recognized customer service certification through International Business Training Association. So for the first 10 weeks, um, you're really focusing a lot on learning how to troubleshoot. So troubleshooting all the common problems that people have on their laptops, their PCs, their mobile devices, printer devices, you know, how to troubleshoot network connections, how to do client virtualizations, you're learning about physical security and network security, um, operational procedures. And so you, you're getting skilled up to be that person that if you're on a company's IS team and a member of the team is having a uh, technical issues, you're someone who would know how to either remote into that person's uh, device, solve the problem, maybe connect them to networks, connect them to like local devices like printers um, or other computers. And um, you just, uh, there's many different ways that you do that. So I always tell people, you know, when you go uh, on pretty much any website, uh, you could be browsing for clothes, you could be browsing for computer, whatever, there'll be like a little virtual assistant that pops up. And there's a couple of keywords that you may input in there where uh, they may uh, be needing help navigating something or have a question. And that starts off as a bot, but then, you know, in many of those situations, you may be connected with a real person um, who would be helping you through, you know, whatever process that you're, you're looking for. Uh, in this situation, um, you'd be learning how to do that uh, as far as like technical issues that people have through email, through help desk tickets, through phone. And so that's why being uh, training customer service and getting that customer service credential is so important because it's, it's very heavy in customer service and dealing with people. And then on the back end, in the final five weeks, you're kind of switching gears and going to Python programming. So by the time you finish, you're going to be a Python certified entry level programmer. So they give you all the basics in like Python, C, Java, which are all programming languages used for things like building websites. Um, and so this is uh, something that is really great to have on your resume and your repertoire of, of your skills. And so with all of our programs, but you know, specifically with IT, because um, you know this is a, a very certificate focused type of career where, you know, anybody can put on their resume, I could put on my resume that, you know, I'm great at customer service, or, you know, I'm, I'm great working, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, in Excel, but, you know, anybody can say that having certifications behind your name is everything in an IT career. And so that's what we aim to do. We aim to get you skilled up, we aim to get you certified with industry recognized credentials, and then we assist in placing you into employment. And then these are just some of the job opportunities that are associated with the type of skill set that you're learning with this program. Um, again, if you have previous experience, that's great, but it's not required. You just need to have, you know, basic comfortability using a computer, navigating basic applications and the internet. So you may be a system administrator, a junior programmer, desktop admin, you could be like a service desk analyst, help desk technician, um, computer support specialist. And um, one of the benefits, and I'll talk a little bit more about this at the end, is, you know, when you're in a career like IT where there's, there's, there's so many different job titles and so many keywords that you're looking for, um, you will be having, uh, you know, even before you start your own independent job search, you'll be working with a placement specialist who would be kind of talking to you about what, what really interests you, what areas are you most interested in learning more about and branching out into what type of career do you see yourself having and like how can we get there uh, from this training program to your first post-graduation job so there's a lot of opportunities post-graduation 
Next program I want to talk about is probably at this point our most popular training program, um, which is twofold, which is our CDL uh, truck driver training uh, program. The basic program that we offer is uh, in collaboration with an actual CDL school because you do four weeks of work readiness, getting kind of our secret sauce, like our prelude to trucking and employability skills. And then you will do the final four weeks at an actual CDL school where you're upgrading your license, getting the hands-on driving and operating you know, a truck uh, with that experience before you actually get your CDL class A. Um, in the work readiness component that we offer, there's obviously still going to be getting that customer service certification. You're still going to be getting that resume preparation, uh, mock interview, um, having an opportunity to learn, you know, how, how to present and public speak and things so that you can present yourself professionally as you go out and start doing your job search. And also I think with, uh, with a career like trucking, um, we know that that's not for everyone, you know, it's, it's, especially if you're driving over the roads, you may be uh, on your own for long, extended periods of time. So there's things that we talk about, like how can you maintain, you know, uh, your physical health when you're sitting for extended periods of time so while you're out on these long drives? You know, how can you uh, maintain healthy diet? And, you know, just things like that, little tips and tricks to make sure that as you're transitioning to, you know, a different career, you're able to, to do that a little bit more easily because you know what to expect and you've been prepared. But then uh, something that we've just started offering this year, and obviously we want to continue offering in the new year because it's been very successful, is our CDL entrepreneurship. We call it our logistics and transportation. So this is an additional course which would bring you to a total of 15 weeks for those who want to become owner operators. With this program, you don't have to have a CDLA license to participate. You have to, you can be in pursuit of that. But if you're a current CDL holder, then we welcome you as well to participate because this could also help you, you know, take it to the next level and become an owner operator. You make a lot more money, uh, obviously as an owner operator of your own vehicle. I believe right now the CDL truckers maybe starting out are making, you know, 50, 60,000 a year. Um, and you could be making twice as much, you know, as an owner operator. Uh, so these are some skills. This is more of a college level class. Um, so you're learning about supply chain management. Um, you're learning about infra infrastructure. You're getting a communication certification in addition to the customer service cert. Um, it's a, a specialization in entrepreneurship. You're going to um, build an actual business plan and have the opportunity to present the business plan to you know, your instructors and your peers for critique and for advice um, and, and learning about how would you fund a venture like this. And so be connecting with resources and then also um, just like the planning, the management of it, um, how you could be successful. And I had like, I had the privilege of actually sitting in on the last class doing their final um, presentations of their business plan. And it was just awesome to see how much, you know, thought and planning people had put into this, you know, that they were actually planning to implement, you know, with the training that they had received here at Focus Hope. So this is a fantastic opportunity um, for people who see themselves as being entrepreneurship, wanting to work for themselves, whether you're just starting out and you want to get this additional training, you know, and you're looking to get your, your license, or if you're looking to upgrade and you're like, you know, I've, look, I've been driving for a company for a long time. I want to work for myself. I want to become an owner operator of my own truck or multiple trucks. And so this is a great opportunity to, to set yourself up for success. Um, another program that we just started offering this year is our construction trade program. Um, this is a 10 week course that is tied to an apprenticeship opportunity. So you do again, the five weeks with us, you'll see that work readiness built into any training that we do, because in all of our, you know, our years, you know, we've been doing this since the eighties, working closely with employers, with a circle of employers who advise us. This is something that employers love. They love to hear that you've gotten this type of training, which is focused on professionalism, our, our A's, like our attendance, accountability, appearance, attitude, academics. Um, and so you get the resume writing, uh, you get the mock interviews to kind of shake out any of those nerves, the general work readiness training, which is contextualized in this case to the construction. And so once you successfully graduate the work readiness, you're going to transition right over to the carpentry school to do your final in-person five weeks uh, where you're doing hands-on. You get the OSHA 30, it's the Michigan OSHA uh, 30 hours uh, certification in safety. You have the opportunity to either uh, transition to job placement in the construction field, or you can interview for the apprenticeship at the carpentry school. And so, uh, you know, this is a great program that is a short term. Um, it's a 10 week course. It could be much longer if you take advantage of the apprenticeship. And the great thing about an apprenticeship opportunity is it gives you the opportunity to work full time and have an income, but then also be training for a journey with credential so that you have much more earning potential um, within the next couple of years. And so obviously one of the things we talk about is placement focus with these type of uh, training 
programs is obviously, you know, it's, it's, there's less of a pathway, but with this, you know, you have the opportunity to just go to work in construction or apply for the carpentry apprenticeship. And then finally, our DTE tree trimming program. Um, this is a partnership program that we are, are very, very proud of just because of the success that it has had for our graduates. Um, we, so it's a, it's three way, so a three way partnership program with Focus Hope, um, DTE, as well as our CDL school partner, which is uh, US Trucking in Sterling Heights. So we start off with our virtual work readiness component. Then you're going to go over to the Tree Trim Academy, where they're going to teach you Tree Trimming 101, Woodsman Basics, Safety, the Machinery. You imagine in a career like this, um, you have to be very comfortable working at great heights, working in all different weather conditions, because it's not a seasonal job. It's something that you would be doing year round. Um, and then you would also um, you know, be thinking about this as a long term career, um, because it is uh, tied to an apprenticeship, a very fantastic apprenticeship opportunity with DTE. So you do seven weeks of training. Um, it's two weeks online, five weeks in person, because you're going to do a three weeks at the CDL school upgrading to the B license. And that's so you can operate some of the bigger vehicles like the vans and things that, you know, you see the DTE vehicles out whenever, you know, there's a power outage and they may have to trim trees and do line clearance. And so you are someone who's going to be learning how to do all of that safely. Um, once you complete the seven weeks, you're immediately going to go to uh, placement. You're going to start off as a contracted tree trimmer with DTE. Their starting wage is about $18 an hour as an apprentice. The, the part of any apprenticeship is going to be the increasing pay scale. So you start off at $18 an hour. Great opportunity here is all of your training is going to be on the job training. So you're working for, you know, your full time $18 an hour job and you're continually upskilling. It takes about two years to complete your, uh, your apprenticeship to get the journeyman credential. But while you're in the apprenticeship for those, you know, give or take two years, you're getting a pay raise about every six months. So this is really for the uh, person who sees this as a, a long term career opportunity. There's great earning potential, very, very high earning potential for uh, those who complete the program and have their journeyman credential and are working in line clearance. I know people make it 30, 40 and up, you know, per hour, great benefits packages. If you, but the, you know, not just working for DTE, if that's your ambition, but once you get that, uh, once you get that journeyman credential, that's a portable credential that you can take anywhere in the country to verify the skill set that you have. So, you know, if, you, if you're someone who you want an exciting job, you want uh, a job where you are continually always going to be needed, um, this is a great opportunity. Um, and it's just a seven week initial training, two weeks online, five in person, and you'll be well on your way to, uh, to being a tree trimmer and eventually, you know, an apprentice uh, in line clearance. And then finally, one thing that I did want to also talk about, because I think it is a, an, a very important component to what Focus Hope does, uh, is our supportive services and our job placement services that we do. Uh, all of our training program is for those who are 18 and up. There's no cutoff with age, but you do have to be an adult, so 18 and up uh, for our training programs. And we know that you know everyone who comes through the program, you know, they, they have other things going on in their lives. They may have certain barriers that they need to remove before they could be successful in a training program. And so we try to take a holistic approach of like, okay, how can we make sure that everyone who starts the class is able to, to successfully complete? And so we do barrier removal assistance. Um, so we do referrals for things like transportation, um, housing, clothing, um, pretty much any other supportive service that you can imagine. Something that we look into, you know, if, you, if you make a request, we have a lot of resources through community partnerships, um, Michigan 211, we have uh, mental health services through E3 Michigan, where uh, students in our programs can have like five th free therapy sessions, uh, because we know that, you know, mental health is something that's very, very important. And, uh, you know, then also some of the skills that are associated with being successful post-graduation. So you've made it through the program now, you're at the end, you have your skills, you have your certificates, and now you need to get into your career, not just a job, but, you know, a career. And so we have job placement for all of our training programs. Um, as part of the job placement assistance um, is employer pairing. So as you're meeting, before you even graduate, you're meeting with our placement manager, talking about your goals, talking about the types of jobs that you see yourself being successful in, and then we help pair you with an employer, you know, that would be, you know, advantageous for you. Now, you're not, of course, obligated to accept employment with uh, an employer that we work with, but it's something that we make available to you so that you know that these people see the type of quality graduates that Focus Hope is, is churning out, and they want you, they want you at their company. So they help you, uh, she'll help you uh, develop your resume, so make sure that you, you know, you're 
resume is speaking to your skills and the, the skills that you come in the door with and the skills that you learn at Focus Hope, all your credentials. Um, we do uh, something that we call our job club or our employer of the week, where we actually have opportunities for you to meet employers that we work with, have them do an overview of their company, of the positions that they are hiring for, so that you can kind of get excited and hear like, okay, this is for me, or maybe this isn't for me. Um, and it's just a uh, it's an opportunity for you to kind of um, develop relationships with employers, ask questions, get a feel for what their company culture is before you go in and actually work there. Um, financial literacy, I touched on this a little bit, but this is to me a very, very important component of all of the classes um, and something that can benefit people at any level, whether you're someone who's just graduated high school and this is your first venture education-wise uh, post-graduation, or you're someone who is more advanced in your career and you're looking to build wealth and, and set financial goals for yourself. You know, there's a lot of um, things that come through our financial literacy class and then the one on one sessions with our Center for Working Families who administers the financial literacy to kind of talk about, you know, what are your goals? You know, they can, if, if, if you so choose to uh, share your credit score, look at, you know, what are some things that you can do immediately to improve that credit score and what are some things you can do long term once you start working to improve it, um, get access to like micro grants and things that are available in the community uh, that will be available to you as a student working with the Center for Working Families in their financial literacy courses. And I think one of the most valuable things is they don't, this, this connection doesn't leave when you graduate from Focus Hope they will be with you for as long as you're in communication with them, you know, helping you meet goals and, you know, uh, as you become uh, more successful in your career, there's things that you want to do to, like I said, grow your wealth. Um, having a financial literacy coach, I think, can benefit anybody at any point in their career. And so that's just one really amazing benefit that you have of going through a program, training program at Focus Hope. You have that in your back pocket. You have, you know, questions. I mean, not everybody has, you know, someone like on speed dial that they can call if they have uh, financial questions. Um, and, you know, uh, just holistically, everything that we do is just trying to set you up for success for, you know, an actual career, not just a job. Because these training programs, they are short term, but they lead to a career and there's no out-of-pocket cost. So the benefit to you is that, you know, in 15 weeks, you could be, you know, unemployed and then 15 weeks later in a career, you know, making 18, 20, $25 an hour. And then I just wanted to also share with you guys, I am a member of the Workforce Development and Education Specialist team. Um, I might see for Ms. Moore, unfortunately, we don't have a photo yet because she just started. Um, but this is our specialist team, myself, Ms. Lord, and Ms. Johnson. Um, anybody who comes through a training program at Focus Hope will be assigned to one of us. And we always jokingly call ourselves, we will be your training BFFs. So we are the people that will be working with you from the very beginning of your admissions process. When you call in or you email or you text and you're like, hey, I want to know more about the training program all the way until you graduate and beyond, of course, but just until you graduate and you move on to the placement manager who kind of takes, you know, the placement phase from there. But we will be working with you to get you through the application process, through our admissions process, uh, through the program with any barrier removal, any concerns that you may have, any uh, resources you'd like to be connected with, referrals to the community. That's something that we do. Um, and so, you know, we have uh, at any given time, lots of people on our workload that we um, are connecting with, and we would love to add you to that as a student, uh, because this is what we do. Finally, uh, most importantly, I think everybody kind of wants to be prepared before they take the next step. And so this kind of lets you know these are the basic things that you need before you could enroll in a training program. So we offer what's called the CASAs, which is a basic reading and basic math assessment. Depending on what training you're looking for, they may be at a different, you know, grade level requirement, but we kind of meet people where they are. I always tell anybody coming in for the first time, just see it as an assessment to find out where you're at so that we can share the necessary resources. If you get the score you need on the first time, fantastic. If you find that you fall a little bit short, we have resources for tutoring, um, we have study guide materials, and you can take the test again, should you need to. Um, we have, uh, we're very happy now that we have, we've been doing everything virtually where a student would test from home and you had to have a particular type of computer like a Windows 10 computer and a smartphone. Um, well, now we also have uh, in-person options where we test on our campus on Oakman Boulevard in Detroit. So um, only thing that you really need to, to get started is an internet connection. Um, we will, and that is for the actual class because there's, there's for all of our classes, there's a virtual component. Um, we can help connect uh, those who need to low cost internet. And then also as a student, you're gonna be loaned a laptop for the duration of your training. And you'll also be getting a small stipend, which we give you to help cover the cost of internet. 
So that's something that's, you know, only thing you need is just internet connection to get started and we'll basically take care of everything from there. Um, all of our programs do have a drug screen your analysis for the training programs that we offer, uh, which require upgrading your license. Uh, you do have to do um, Department of Transportation physical. So that's like a little bit more than a basic pre-employment physical. Um, a valid driver's license for those programs which require you to upgrade. Um, no suspensions on the license within the last three years. And that's just the state of Michigan requirement. Um, you do need to have the valid picture ID, uh, high school diploma or GED. Um, for some programs, you would be required to present a birth certificate. That just depends on how they're funded. So we, of course, will provide guidance from there. Um, but our, our entire enrollment process can move very quickly. So people who want to just kind of get in and get started as soon as possible, we can do all of this within, you know, a week, two weeks. Um, and we kind of walk you through that process. So we schedule you for your assessment. We schedule you to, to turn in your documentation, your drug screen and your physical. There's no out-of-pocket cost to do any of this. Um, all you have to do is basically just get scheduled and, and we take it from there. And then finally, and we only uh, have, I think, Ms. Kiriton in, but if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer about our training programs. Thank you, Lynn. Excellent presentation. Thank you. My first question is, because um, you indicated that all of this is tuition free. Mm -hmm. What would a student have to meet in order to qualify for that tuition free? Yep. So what a student would normally have to do to qualify is uh, turn in the documentation that we shared. Mm -hmm. um, they would have to test at, at an appropriate level, um, okay. be available for all of the classes. Um, right now, there's not uh, income requirements um, for the training program. So I know sometimes when uh, people apply for funding you know, to do different trainings, they may have to provide like check stubs or you know, income sure. information. Mm -hmm. And it will depend sometimes on how the program is funded. Like for instance, when we go through like a Detroit at work or Michigan works, there will be times when they will have to provide uh, income like a, like a check stop or something like that. Or if they're unemployed, like a registrant statement stating that they're unemployed. But at this time, there's no income requirements. So as long as you have your high school diploma or GED, you're able to score, uh, all of our programs are between sixth and ninth grade level on the reading and math assessment. Uh, pass a drug screen in some situations, uh, physical as well. And then have uh, for the programs that I mentioned that require license upgrade, so like the CDL program um, and the DTE tree trimming program, you are required to have a valid driver's license, no special endorsements, just a driver's license with no suspensions within three years. And that's the requirement for the state of Michigan to upgrade. So wow. that's really what they need to do. There's, no, there's nothing, uh, nothing extra that they need to do to qualify for the training programs right now. Wow, that is so awesome, Lynn. This is why I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's a fantastic opportunity to, to, you know, within 15 weeks, be into a, a totally new career or, or completely upgrading your career. Um, and that's why we encourage people to, to take advantage. Like if you, you have the time and you're able to do that, it, it will definitely pay dividends by the time you're done with your training. Wow, wow. Is there any age limit or, or what is the age range for people to enroll in your program? So it's 18 and up. There's no cutoff because we, we need people, you know, wherever they're at in their career. Uh, we have people uh, who are, you know, just 18. They graduated high school and this is their first like career venture. And we have seasoned people who are transitioning or upgrading, uh, wanting to qualify for promotions and higher level positions within their company. So as long as you're 18 and up, um, you know, you can participate in a program. You do have to have the high school diploma or GED already secured, but uh, I do kind of let people know if you're uh, watching this presentation and you don't have your high school diploma or GED, we have a resource for that. We have a partnership with St. Vincent and Sarah Fisher Center, um, and they do a free GED prep program, which we've been working with them. I've been at Focus Hope for uh, 11 years, and we've been working with them, I think, before I even got here, right before I got here. So we've had a, an existing relationship with them. And uh, I also did want to talk about this because they, they offer a free GED program where they assess you, build a lesson plan for you, do one-on-one -on -one tutoring with you, and then they uh, kind of assess you again periodically, see you ready for your GED, and then they'll actually pay for you when you're ready. They'll give you a voucher to actually pay for the cost of your GED. 
So if you, yeah, if you're hearing this and you're like, oh, but I don't have a GED, I don't have my diploma, you can, you can get that at no cost to you, uh, participate in their tutoring. And another great resource, I know every time I, I do a presentation and I talk about, you know, there's an entrance assessment, you know, people will get kind of nervous because they're like, well, maybe I haven't tested in a long time or I have test taking anxiety and I don't know, can I get to the level that I need? Well, St. Vincent and Sarah Fisher Center, you know, also saw the need that we have, you know, like at Focus Open and other, you know, training uh, schools uh, to kind of give people a refresher course and do some tutoring in the areas of reading and math so that people who are having to take entrance assessments for training courses like this can, you know, get, get the, the free tutoring that they need. And so they also have a tutoring program. So if you are nervous about taking a, a class, you know, and thinking I have to take an entrance assessment for it, take the assessment because you want to know where you're at and that's going to help guide what you do tutoring wise. But you have this free resource to do tutoring so that you can do a few sessions, however many you need, and then retake the test and get the score that you need to enter into the program. So there's options for everybody. That's why I say, don't be intimidated. We'll meet you wherever you're at. We just need to have the willingness, you know, from you as a participant. Good deal. Good deal. Um, are there any questions or comments? You can unmute or this is good to know. I'm glad being recorded. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you can view it again. <laughs> um, well, then, if there aren't any questions or any other comments, then we will wrap this session up. Lynn, thanks again for joining. Again, awesome program. Thank My you so much. I love you so much. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I did, you know, I can, of course, I, I put that last uh, slide up on the screen so people can know how to contact me directly. Um, feel free to, and I can even, you know, share the presentation, uh, just the actual PowerPoint presentation as well. Should anybody want, you know, literature to read our website. Send me Focus a copy on. of it. Send me a copy of it and yeah. I'll make sure I'll publish it. Okay, great. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I look deal. forward to this information being shared with anybody who needs it and I'll talk with you soon. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining and have a great day. Lit.